So question one then from the 2021 Higher Maths non-exam as it was. This is an assessment resource paper that was substituted instead because of the whole COVID carry on. Anyway, format's more or less the same apart from there's selection of questions at the end. There's a section A and a section B because with all the various restrictions and things you couldn't cover the full content, I am presuming. So, question one, three marks. Find the value of k for which this equation, this quadratic equation, has got equal roots. Well, they're straight away, quadratic equation, equal roots. It's the discriminant. The discriminant will determine whether or not it's got any roots, and if so, what type they are. So for this one, for equal roots, I'll just put a wee note. Equal roots, the condition for that would be the discriminant would equal zero. So I could put the little delta symbol for discriminant, but I'll just write it out in full. B squared minus 4ac should equal zero. Now that essentially would be two of the three marks once you've put the figures in. I'll just spell out what they are. A is the coefficient of the x squared term, which is k. B is the next term in, the coefficient of the x term, which is three. And C is the constant on its own, the constant term, which is negative 4. Now, popping them in would give you, I'll put them in a wee placeholder there. Pop them in there, square B, four times, and A was a K and C was a negative 4. Put them in the B brackets or not, as you wish. You'd have to put the negative 4 in a bracket though. So, that means you've got 9, take away a negative plus 16k equals zero. Now at that point you get the second of the two marks. The two marks were for knowing that the discriminant should equal zero and having the correct figures and then starting to tidy it up. Now it's just a case of solve it and there you go. So 16k should equal, take the nine across and subtract. Of course what you really do is you're taking nine off of both sides. So that disappears and it just appears there. But you don't do that, you just put negative nine. And same with the 16. Take the 16 across and divide. Of course, you're really dividing both sides by 16 to knock out that one. So it just appears here. But you just think, take the 16 across and divide. Now, two perfect squares. Very tempting, just leave them alone. Of course, you've got two perfect squares there. Because if you've got a three squared there and you've got four times four. Negative nine upon 16, that's the answer. 